Great Nick here with another video tutorial for Flake Your Flight Simulator. Um, for this tutorial, I have created a flight plan that will allow us to practice the NDB approach, the VOR approach, and the ILS approach. We're going to start at Wings Field. And fly to Reading. Then... To Newcastle. Once it loads there. There. And finally... To Philadelphia International. For this tutorial, I will be flying the Cessna 172P Skyhawk, and I will have two mile visibility and overcast at 1,000. Make that overcast at 2,000. It's going to be two mile visibility, overcast at 2,000. Furthermore, winds are going to be calm, so uh, I'm just going to go for the straight-in approach. Taking a look at the chart here for the NDB approach at Reading, we can see the frequency for the NDB, which it just happens to be the outer marker for the runway. The approach course the touchdown zone elevation, you want to keep that in mind, especially if you have much worse visibility than I'm going to be using today, so that you don't suddenly find the ground coming up to meet you before you're ready to land on the runway. Um, we have the, well, the lighting to expect, the missed approach procedure described here and here. Uh, we have some procedures described here that we're not going to worry about, like a procedure turn to the south and approaching at a slightly different angle up to the NDB than what we're using to get from the NDB to the runway. Um, we're not going to worry about those because I'm going to be coming from the Pottstown VOR direct to the NDB. Here's the vertical profile. This, the right half, is negligible. Um, we want to make sure we are not below 1,800 feet when we, when we reach the NDB. Um, and then uh, maintain about a 3.43 a degree descent profile. So that's about 500 feet per minute at 100 knots. Of course, we're going to want to slow down so to about 70 knots. Um, and then we're going to want a, a smaller descent rate. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are at Wings Field, and the weather looks like crap. So we're definitely going to have to use our instruments. First thing you want to do before you even start the engine is configure ra your radios and your heading bug. So I'm going to start with that now. Um, let's see. The POTS 10 VOR, I know you can't see it, it's free with this uh, view. The frequency for the POTS 10 VOR is 116.5, so I'm going to dial that in. And we want the 2, 9, or 5 course. Right now, I'm going to cheat a little just to check. Okay, bringing up the radio frequency dialog, we can see it's at 280 right now. 
which is what it appears to be on the instrument panel, and that's good. Okay. So I'm going to set that to 295. Next, we want to set up the ADF to tune to the NDB. So that is 356. Make that the active frequency. Okay, where is the button's hotspot? There it is. There. And turn on the EDF. And we want a course of zero. And now we're all set. Let's start the engines and get a climb. Eh. How long is this flight? Let's seem to cruise at Two thousand five hundred. Okay, flight change in plan. I overlooked something on the chart. The recommended altitude is 3,000, so that's what I'm going to go with. The chart indicates that the NDB is 18.6 nautical miles from the Pottstown VOR. So I'm going to begin my descent now. To 1,800. I'm probably a little late descending. 